Hello everybody and welcome to another Nephilim Builds. Today we're going to make the mother of all omelettes as Senator Armstrong from Metal Gear Rising. As always keep in mind that these videos are about capturing the spirit of the character rather than capturing their abilities perfectly. With that said, let's start with ability scores. Using the standard point array we'll put the 15 to strength. He's not one of those beltway pansies. Next we'll put the 14 to constitution. Nano machine, son. After that's the 13 charisma. The scariest part about Armstrong is how much he starts to make sense after a while. Especially these days. We'll put the 12 into Dexterity. He played college football and I know just enough about that sport to know that agility and hand-eye coordination is imperative. We'll put the 10 into Intelligence, we don't really need it, and we'll dump Wisdom. I said he makes sense sometimes, but let's not kid ourselves, he's crazy. For Race, we'll go with Variant Human, putting our plus ones into Strength and Charisma and taking the Tough Feet. Nano Machine, son. We'll also take Persuasion for our skill and speak Common and Giant. No real reason, I just needed a language. We'll take the athlete background, getting Echoes of Victory, Acrobatics and Athletics, as well as Dwarvish and Land Vehicles. A Metal Gear counts as a Land Vehicle, right? For class, we're going to start off as a Barbarian. We'll get Strength and Constitution Saving Throws, Pick Intimidation and Survival for Skills, and be proficient with Light and Medium Armor, Shields, and All Weapons. At level 1, we'll get Rage and Unarmored Defense. Nano Machine, son. Now we're going to multi-class the Fighter, getting Second Wind and our Fighting Style at level 1, picking Unarmed Fighting. At level 2, we'll get Action Search, and at level 3, we'll get our Martial Archetype. We're going to take Champion, getting Improved Critical. At level 4, we'll get an Ability Score Improvement, which we'll put into Strength, and at level 5, we'll get Extra Attack. At level 6, we'll get another Ability Score Improvement, which will cap our Strength. Don't fuck with this, Senator. At level 7, we'll get Remarkable Athlete, and at level 8, we'll get another Ability Score Improvement, which we'll put into Constitution. At level 9, we'll get Indomitable, and at level 10, we'll get a second Fighting Style. None of the other styles really work here, so... Blind Fighting? At level 11 we'll get another extra attack and at level 12 we'll get another ability score improvement which we'll put into Charisma. Why am I leveling Charisma you ask? Because now we're going to multi-class to Divine Soul Sorcerer for some final phase shit. At level 1 we'll get favored by the gods and Divine Magic picking good. I'm not saying he's good, just that he thinks so. At level 2 we'll get Font of Magic and at level 3 we'll get Meta Magic picking Empowered Spell and Quicken Spell. At level 4 we'll get one last ability score improvement which we'll put into Charisma. At level 5 we'll get Magical Guidance and at level 6 we'll get Empowered Healing. Our last level will be 7 for 4th level spells. Now that we're level 20, we finally have our modifiers. Now to talk spells. As a sorcerer, our spell casting ability is Charisma. The spell save DC is 18, and our spell attack modifier is plus 10. As a level 7 sorcerer, we'll have 4 first level slots, 3 second and third level slots, and 1 fourth level slot. We'll have 5 cantrips to choose from, taking Thunderclap for a stomp, and Friends, Guidance, Resistance, and True Strike to fill the slots. We will, of course, get Cure Wounds from our Affinity. Spam this with Quicken Spell while you punch. Your health bar can't go down if you keep refilling it. We'll also have 8 other spells to choose from. We'll take Earth Tremor for a Ground Pound, Jump for some Hops, and Shield to boost our AC. Magical Nano Machine, son. We'll take Agonizer Scorcher for his opening Line of Fire and Enhance Ability to Lift and Throw Debris. Next we'll take Erupting Earth and Wall of Fire. Punch the ground so hard that it explodes. Our last spell will be Stone Skin. Spellcasting Friendly Nano Machine, son. Going back to the main sheet, we'll just take a component pouch for spellcasting. I don't know, call it a cigar pouch. Our AC with our normal defense is 14, which can go to 19 with shield. Our movement speed is 30, and our average HP is 212 with 1d12, 7d6, and 12d10 hit dice. And with that, we are done. Thank you everybody so much for watching. If you'd like to support my channel, there's a link to my Patreon down in the description. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments, and I'll see you all next week when I make Zelda from Smash Brothers.